Hey guys, welcome to your bonus love reading for Sagittarius. This is going to be for the rest of your October 2024. You can apply this to your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. We are going to take a look and see what is going on with you guys in love and the person that you are connecting with. And then we will take a look at your person to see what their true feelings and intentions are towards you. And then we'll finish off the read to see what else you guys need to know, look out for, work on, apply this to your own unique situation, switch the roles if you want, like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post, when I go live. Also, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok, Instagram, my other YouTube channel that's dedicated solely to my travels, the links for those are in the description box below. Also, if you guys are interested in following me on you know, booking a personal reading with me, the link for that is also in the description box below. So tell me about Sagittarius. What's going on with Sagittarius and love and the person that they are connecting with? What's going on with Sag and love and the person that they're connecting with? Six of Swords. Emperor, King of Wands, Queen of Wands, Ace of Swords, and the Four of Pentacles here, okay? I, I get the sense that someone here has to ask like mommy or daddy for permission if it's okay to be with the person that you want to be with or, you know, your person has to ask that here. I do feel like this Emperor is like blocking this relationship from moving forward. Could be a situation that this Emperor does not agree you know, could be religious reasons, could be traditional reasons here, could be, I hate to say it, could be the skin tone of your color, uh, skin, uh, you know, color of your skin that is making this emperor resist accepting you in their family or in your, in their life, okay? With that King of Wands here, Aries, Gil, Sagittarius energy, and also the Queen of Wands, Aries, Gil, Sagittarius energy, lots of fire energy here, Ace of Swords here, and the Four of Pentacles. There's a sense of holding on to hope that this can work out, even though, you know, someone is heavily getting involved in the situation here. Because I feel like this parent is really controlling because I feel like this parent has controlled every aspect of this person's life here, even their love life. Six of Swords here. You know, here's the thing. I do believe that someone here has, you know, been with somebody in the past or other people in the past and they feel like a parent or like parents just scared people away. And they feel like it might happen again. Now you could be dealing with someone, you know, where you're really interested in this person, but your parents are getting in the way. But you could switch the rules if you want. We have the High Priestess, Cancer, Pisces energy here. And we have the Six of Swords. We have the Four of Cups here. Yeah, it's almost like I feel like someone here is blocking this. Yeah, someone here is blocking this here. I feel like someone here is feeling sad about the situation, okay? You know, I do feel like there could have, there could be threats from a parent. Like, hey, if you date this person or that you be with this person, you're going to lose out on money or something like that. It could be a situation that it comes down to money that, you know, this, this parent doesn't like that, you know, someone here is not dating a rich person. You know, this could be an example of that, all right? We have the Queen of Wands here and the Three of Cups. Leah, uh, Sagittarius, I feel like you're really enjoying getting to uh, getting to know this person here. You're realizing that this person is the one, but someone here is getting in the way. Four of Pentacles here in the tower. You know, I feel like someone here has to have boundaries with uh, uh, their parents because I feel like someone here has been has never been able to put up boundaries and really truly live their happy life here. And, you know, I feel like, uh, you know, and I feel like at this point, Sagittarius, the universe is trying to wake you up, you know, trying to take charge in your own decisions here in your own life. Um, yeah. What else do we have here for Sagittarius, a person that Sagittarius is dealing with? What is this person's true feelings and intentions towards Sagittarius for the uh, rest of the October 2024 Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Sag? We have the Five of Pentacles here. Five of Pentacles. We have the Three of Wands. We have the Seven of Wands. We have the 
Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Seven of Swords here, King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. What is this person's true feelings and intentions? Oh, it's quite rocky here, you know? I just feel like there's a situation here that someone here is not trusting somebody. Now, this could be your person. Let's say you ha your parents like that. This person is having a hard time trusting the situation here. Yeah, this person is having a hard time trusting you because uh, some someone here is feeling like they're feeling manipulated. Someone here is feeling like they're being put down here. You know, it could be the parent that's doing that. Two of Wands, the Fool, Aries energy. Seven of Wands and the Wheel of Fortune here. To be quite honest, I feel like this this it's, it's this feminine energy that doesn't really see it going anywhere. Yeah, doesn't really see it going anywhere. And I feel like this feminine energy is hightailing, hightailing it out of there. Seven of Swords, Strength card. Yeah, like I feel like, you know, I do feel like whoever this person is, I feel like this person has been very patient here. But, you know, I feel like this person is just not trusting the situation anymore. The King of Cups and the Six of Cups here. You guys could be separated and this masculine could be coming back around to reconcile here with you. Okay, or that you're trying to reconcile with someone because, you know, you could be dealing with a parent that scares uh, all your people away, you know, and anyone that you have brought home. So, and you could switch the roles if you want. It could be the other way around. What else do we have for, for Sag? What else does Sag need to know for the rest of October 2024? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Sag. The Hierophant, Taurus energy. Ten of Swords. The uh, Knight of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Ten of Pentacles. Five of Swords. Nine of Cups. Okay. No. Queen of Swords. Eventually, I feel like this feminine energy will come back around to it. But I also feel like this feminine energy is really betrayed because I feel like, you know, maybe like someone here feels like they don't stick up for someone here, you know, and they always side with the parent. But I actually see this coming back together. The, the thing, the thing, the main thing that you have to contend with here is the parent or someone's parent here, you know, and, you know, this parent obviously needs boundaries. Yeah, this parent needs boundaries here. You know, I actually could see like this person controlling, let's say if in the future someone here has a baby. You know, this first, this parent is going to control everything about the baby here. You know, the Knight of Pentacles and the Three of Swords. Mm. It does seem like a third party is getting in the way here. And you could be finally realizing that, you know. But I do feel like there could be happiness here. You know, if someone here takes charge and form boundaries from this toxic parent that, that is stepping in the picture here trying to ruin everything yeah so sagittarius i hope that this was helpful i hope that this resonated if it did leave a comment down in the comment section below like share subscribe hit the notification bell i'll speak to you guys in the next one thanks bye